Episode 77, Middle School Hilarity So, let's talk about middle school, shall we? It's that magical time in our lives when we're not quite teenagers yet, but we're definitely not little kids anymore. We're stuck in this awkward in-between stage where we're trying to figure out who we are, what we want, and how to navigate the treacherous waters of pre-adolescence. And let me tell you, some of the moments that come out of that time period are absolutely hilarious. I remember one time in middle school when I was trying to impress this girl I had a crush on. I thought I was being suave and sophisticated, so I decided to wear my dad's cologne to school that day. But I must have overdone it, because by the end of first period, my classmates were avoiding me like I was a skunk. Or how about those group projects that we had to do in middle school? You know, the ones where you got randomly assigned to a group of kids you barely knew, and you had to work together to create some sort of presentation or project? I don't know about you, but those projects always ended up being a disaster for me. Half the group would be goofing off and not doing any work, while the other half would be stressing out and trying to pick up the slack. And then there were the school dances. Oh man, those were something else. I remember going to my first middle school dance and feeling like I was on top of the world. I had a new outfit, my hair was styled just right, and I was ready to impress all the girls. But as soon as I walked into the gym, I realized that I had made a grave mistake. My pants were too tight, my shirt was too small, and my dance moves were way too awkward. But you know what? Looking back on those middle school moments, I wouldn't change a thing. Sure, they were embarrassing at the time, but they helped shape me into the person I am today. And if nothing else, they make for some great stories to tell at parties. Ah, middle school. The awkward phase between childhood and adolescence where you're not quite sure who you are, what you're supposed to be doing, or how to properly operate your own limbs. I remember my own middle school moments like they were yesterday. The first day of sixth grade, I proudly walked into class wearing my brand new oversized backpack, tripped over my own feet, and spilled all of my school supplies onto the floor. Not exactly the cool and collected entrance I was going for. But it's not just me. Middle school is a breeding ground for hilarity. Remember the days of swapping lunchboxes with your friends and then opening it up to find a moldy sandwich or a bag of carrots? Or the joy of passing notes in class, only to have the teacher intercept it and read it out loud for the whole class to hear? And let's not forget the ultimate middle school nightmare, getting your period for the first time in the middle of class and having to awkwardly ask the teacher for a tampon. But it's not just the embarrassing moments that make middle school so funny. It's the absurdity of it all. Like, why did we all decide to wear those rubber bracelets that were supposed to mean something but really just ended up cutting off our circulation? Or why did we all think it was cool to draw those S shapes on our notebooks? And let's not even get started on middle school crushes. Remember when you thought you were in love with that kid who sat behind you in math class, only to find out they didn't even know your name? Or the rush of adrenaline you felt when you finally worked up the courage to ask them out, only to have them awkwardly decline and then avoid eye contact with you for the rest of the school year? But despite all the cringe-worthy moments, middle school is also a time of growth and self-discovery. It's a time when we start to figure out who we are and what we stand for. And looking back on it all, even the most embarrassing moments can bring a smile to our faces. So here's to the hilarity of middle school moments, and to all of us who survived them with our dignity, mostly, intact. <laughs> ah, middle school moments. The awkward stage between childhood and adolescence where we all felt like we were constantly walking around with a giant sign on our backs that read, please don't notice me. It's the time in our lives when we were all trying to figure out who we were, and the world around us seemed like a never-ending game of dodgeball. I remember in middle school, I used to wear this bright red shirt that I thought was really cool. I thought I looked like a rock star. One day, I walked into the cafeteria and someone yelled, hey, Kool-Aid. And for the rest of the year, that became my nickname. I didn't even like Kool-Aid. I was more of a Capri Sun guy, but nobody cared. Another thing I remember about middle school was the social hierarchy. You had your popular kids who seemed to have everything figured out, your nerds who were always buried in a book, and then there were the rest of us who were just trying to survive. I was somewhere in the middle. I wasn't popular, but I wasn't a total outcast either. I was just kind of there. Middle school is also the time in our lives when we started to have crushes. And let's be honest, our crushes were usually on people who had no idea we existed. We would spend hours writing their names in our notebooks and dreaming about what it would be like to hold their hand. But then they would walk by us in the hallway and we would forget how to breathe. Middle school was like one big game of emotional whiplash. But you know what? 
As embarrassing and cringe-worthy as those middle school moments were, they helped shape who we are today. They taught us how to be resilient, how to laugh at ourselves, and how to not take life too seriously. So the next time you find yourself cringing at a middle school memory, just remember that it's all part of the journey. And who knows, maybe one day you'll look back and laugh. Or maybe you'll just cringe all over again. Either way, that's the magic of middle school. <laughs> And that wraps up another laughter-filled episode of Not So Funny A. Eh? If you enjoyed the jokes generated by our AI algorithms, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our comedy-loving community.